In this video, I'm going to uh, uh, work on some JavaScript uh, to convert a text into uh, into a title case. Okay, so I'm in one of the model-driven app. Uh, now it has a contacts field. Now, if I go into one of the contacts, now there are fields which has address in it. Okay, so there's a street, street two, street three. So let me write uh, some content over here. So if I write the address as Hope Street. Uh, Brisbane, Queensland. Okay. Now, if I put this entries and if I save this, now if you see here, uh, all these are in lowercase now, right? H, B, and Q. So my goal is to make this into a title case. So the output should be capital H, capital B, and capital Q. Okay. Now, how to achieve that is like there's no out of the box functionality. We may need to write some sort of a JavaScript. <coughs> Okay, so uh, I have created a separate solution and within that solution, I have this model driven app and I need to write uh, one JavaScript for that. So uh, how do we write a JavaScript? So uh, th there is a simple logic for JavaScript. So uh, what I'm gonna do is first, uh, I will set some uh, function. So I have created title case logic.js as a function and I'll call this function as uh, say title is func okay so that's that's my function and i will pass the execution context okay now i'll put a curly braces over here and i will test where field so i need to get the field first from the execution context and i'll say from the get event source okay get event source so I'm writing this JavaScript to make it a bit more uh, unique for all this field. So I need not write it for all the three different fields. So I'll say, now say field dot set value, okay? Field dot set value and the function name, okay? So I can name the function as uh, to title case, okay? That's a function which I may need to write, and I'll just say field dot get value. So, yeah, so I think this is like the basic schema uh, for my basic skeleton for this uh, function. Uh, now, what I need to do is like, I need to write this title case logic. Okay, now this two title case logic is like a uh, JavaScript, uh, normal JavaScript. Now this is specific to CRM, that's why I've written this. So let me copy this. So I have, uh, I'll paste this code in, uh, in, in the comments, uh, but just to explain you further on this, now what, what is happening is this function will get triggered with an execution context and it will get the event source and it will set the field value to, uh, to title case. Now this two title case function will actually convert the first character. Now, if you see here, cat at zero. So the first character will be converted to uppercase and rest all will be converted into lowercase. Okay, so that's the basic function and you can tweak your function accordingly. Uh, you can either make it completely uppercase, you know, I've just commented that code, but uh, this is a regex, which is written. Uh, it What it says is like any characters, uh, alpha alphabetic character, uh, which you receive, uh, you need to just, you know, like send across to this string txt and that will convert into a title case. Now that's, that's JavaScript logic, okay? Now let's see how it works, okay? Let me see if I have closed all the brackets. So I think I have done. So my file name is title case logic.js. Let me go into the code. Now, what I'm gonna do here in this library, uh, in, in the model driven app, under JS, I will add that library, okay? Now, <clears throat> before I add that library, I need to upload it because that library will not be available. So I need to upload this into the solution. So I'll say new more web resource choose file and let me see if I have, yeah, so that's the title case logic.js, okay. And I will call this as title case, just for reference, I just put title case Girish, the name, okay. And I save this file. Now this web resource will get uploaded over here. You should see over here in a while, yes, it is there. 
Now going back to the information form, I'll just say add a library and let's see if that JavaScript has come or not. So yes, title case Gerish has come. So I will just add that. And now the JS is added into the form library. Now, whichever field I want to make it to title case, I will select that field and under events, I will add an event handler and I will select the appropriate library and the function name. Now the function name, what we have created is called as title case func. Okay. So let me put this over here and we'll pass execution context as a first parameter. Now, same thing, we will do it for straight two as well. Uh, add an event handler, select the correct library, put that function name, click on done. Straight three, same thing, add an event handler, title case Girish, title case func, pause execution context, and then done. Let me save and publish. We may need to do a couple of time refresh because this JS needs to be uh, propagated correctly. Uh, and we can troubleshoot as well in case it doesn't work out. Okay, so let me go into the contacts and go into say this contact, Robert Lan, and try putting the value. Okay, so I'll just put hope straight. Yes, now you see the first uh, letter is now uh, capitalized. Say Brisbane, or if I just put small Brisbane. And then tab out, it has done that. So Queensland, Australia, okay. Now, if you see all the first character is capitalized. So that's it uh, for this video. So in this video, what we have done is like we have created, and we haven't created a model driven app, but on a model driven app under the contact table, we have selected some fields for which we may need to uh, bring it to a title case. We wrote a JavaScript and we attached the JavaScript. We uploaded the JavaScript as a web resource. And then on that form, we have added that library. And against each and every field, we have added an event handler, uh, which uh, converts, uh, which asks for a function. And then that function gets uh, executed against those particular field. So uh, that's how you convert uh, a, like say, lowercase characters or any character text into title case. Thanks for watching.